Hey everyone, my name is Fahad, and I have a quick question for you. How many of you would identify as an artist? Now I've asked this question in many different classrooms, in many different settings, and about 10 to 15% of people actually put their hand up. Now it's interesting because it actually follows the study of a man by the name of Gordon McKenzie. Now Gordon set out to try and figure out where human creativity came from, where, where, it, where it escalated and where it dropped off. And he was really interested. He went to many different adult groups, he had surveyed many different groups, many different classrooms, and he asked the same exact question. How many of you are artists? And when he asked this to adults, he got the same result, 10 to 15%. So he decided that he wanted to go to the place where the most artists in the world existed. He went to a kindergarten class. And yep, you guessed it. When he asked that question, all of them put their hand up enthusiastically jumping, me, 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 pick me, I'm an artist. And he was fascinated by their, by their passion, their creativity, and their uh, identifying as an artist. And so he actually followed that same group of students. He followed them from when they were kindergarten, he followed them until they were in grade three. And in grade three, he asked them the exact same question. How many of you are artists? And by grade three, about half put their hand up, about 50%. And so he followed that same group, really interested in this trend that he was seeing. Followed until they were in grade six. And in grade six, he asked them the same question, how many of you are artists? And very similar to what happens in the adult groups happened with grade six, about 10 to 15% of people put their hand up. Really interesting. Now Gordon concluded one of two things. He said either you got worse at art than you were in kindergarten, and believe me, I, I, have, I have quite a few nieces and nephews and my siblings put up their art on the fridge. I'm telling you, you can't be that bad. <laughs> Someone along the way told you that to be an artist, you have to be a good artist. Somebody told you that you weren't good enough. And the reality is, I never asked you, are you a good artist? I asked you whether you were an artist. An artist, you see, the, the, the difference between someone who is a, an artist and someone who's not, is that an artist creates. The difference between a leader and someone who's not, is that a leader creates. Creates movements, organizations, relationships, ideas. And each and any, every one of us can be an artist. We won't start off as a good one, we won't start off as a great one, but through the practice of creation, through the practice of creating and changing our mindset from being consumers to creators, we start to be the artists of our own life.